everybody. <laughs> I don't really know what to say to start off this video, but um, hi. My name is Hannah. This is obviously my first YouTube video. I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. I guess I just never really knew when was the right time, but I just graduated high school, so I figured it was the perfect time. I'm gonna have a lot of free time on my hands now. For today's video, I'm just gonna be doing my makeup. I thought I would do a little quarantine get ready with me type video. Obviously this isn't how I do my makeup every day. I've barely even been doing my makeup because of all of this going on. So in this video I kind of just experimented and played around with my makeup and showed you guys what I did. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just put on some moisturizer. I use the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. Oh no. And then I use eye cream. I actually got the one that I used in an Ipsy bag and it's about to be done, but I think I'm going to get another one because I really like this one. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's Purlise. Purlise? Looks like that. <laughs> I'm such a beauty vlogger now. It says it hydrates, intensely firms, and brightens, and decreases puffiness. I use this in the morning every day, and I really like it. So I just put it in between my ring finger and put it under my eyes like this. So I'm not really sure what I'm really going for with my makeup. I'm just kind of going to play around and see what happens. Before I do makeup, I prime my face with the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Primer. It smells so good too. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I really like this stuff. It's very dewy and fresh and still very full coverage, so I like that a lot. And I'm going to put that on with a damp beauty blender. I just put some on my hand, and then I'm going to take some little by little and just kind of up on it. Trey! Yeah. I need the mirror! I have self tanner on, so I don't know if this is the exact same color for my skin tone, but I think it matches pretty well, actually. By the way, I'm looking at a mirror that I have below me, so if I'm looking down, that's why. I really, really, really like this foundation. Take whatever's up on my hand and just blend down on my neck. All of my friends at school always ask me to make video tutorials about how to do my makeup. This is for you guys. Okay, so after I have my foundation on, I go in with concealer. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade 05 Ivory. I just put that in little triangles under my eyes. in and right here I should just leave it like this I don't really know like what all I'm gonna do I love doing makeup so I might do that sometimes but I'm just gonna do whatever honestly whatever I feel like or whatever I get asked to do I guess and then at the end whatever I have left I put on my eyelids because I have the world's veiniest eyelids and I just look crazy if I don't do that so okay so foundation and concealer are done now I'm gonna set everything and the powder I use is the RCMA no color powder it is white but I promise it doesn't come off white on the face I really love this setting powder it's probably my favorite I've ever used it makes my makeup stay in place a lot and I've used a lot of other setting powders, but I always come back to this one. So I just use a little pan. Looks like a literal salt shaker. And then I just put some in there. And I set different parts of my face differently. By the way, all the brushes I'm going to be using are the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes. I love them. They're my favorite. So what I do is I just take a little bit on my brush and I just stamp it under my eyes. And then I just blend it down and it really brightens everything up, which I really like because I like underneath my eyes to be brighter than the rest of my face. And then I'll also go over my eyelids a little bit. 
My under eyes are really dry, so I try not to put too much powder underneath my eyes. Okay, so that's all I do for my eye area. And then for like the middle of my face, like my T-zone, I like to use my beauty blender because that's like the oiliest part of my face and my makeup tends to get patchy throughout the day on those parts so I like to just set it and melt it into my skin with my beauty blender. <laughs> Okay, and then for the rest of my face, I just use this huge fluffy brush. I just take a little bit and I go over my whole face. Okay, now all of my face is set. So I'm gonna move on to bronzer. For bronzer, I use Hoola's Benefit Bronzer. I have gone through like four of these. I use this every single time. I do my makeup, I love it. It's the best bronzer I've ever tried by far. And I don't really try to do any like fancy contouring or anything. I just use a fluffy brush like this and put it all over my face wherever I want it to. I kind of like to just warm up my nose a little bit with bronzer so I take a little bit of like a smaller more defined brush and just take the tiniest tiniest bit on there and just kind of go all over my nose okay that's it for bronzer now I'm gonna do my blush I love blush I think it really just brings color back into my face and this is one of my favorite blushes it's tarte and it's the shade party <laughs> it's just a really pretty like dusty rose color and i use it every time i do my makeup i just put it on the temples of my cheeks and then blend it a little bit It might look a little bit crazy on the camera right now, but I always put on like a little bit too much blush because it wears off really easily. And then something I do is I always take a little bit, whatever is left on my brush, and I just put it a little bit on my nose. I think this shade of blush is so cute. Okay, and then probably my favorite step is putting on highlighter. I love highlight, it's like my favorite makeup product. For highlighter, I like to use the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. So I take it on with a highlighter brush and put it on my cheeks. Ooh! And then whatever's left, I just put it on like my top lip. Okay, highlighter's done. Ah, uh, I love it. I could not do my makeup without highlighter. It's like my favorite step. What I use pretty much every day for my eyes is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe eyeshadow palette. I've had this for quite a while, but I love it. I use it so often. So I think I'm going to do something kind of more neutral. I'm not someone who plays with like crazy colors a lot. I like my makeup to just be kind of neutral and use browns and you know pinks. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is just take one of these lighter brown colors, probably like the first or second one, and dust it all over my eyelid. I'm going to take like a medium colored brown now and put that on the outer corner. I probably do this look like every time I do my makeup, like when I'm going out. So. Just kind of blend it into my crease a little bit. And then the last thing I'm going to do to my lid is take literally the darkest brown in this palette. It almost looks black, but it's definitely brown. It's this one right here. And I'm just gonna put a tiny, tiny bit just on the outside of my eyes. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and take that same dark brown and put it on my lower lash line. 
Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do for my eyeshadow is the lightest shimmer that there is in the palette and just put that on like my inner corner and a little bit on my lid. And I just use my finger to do this. I always use my finger to put like shimmery stuff on. And then I just use that fluffy brush again and blend it all together. Now my eyes are done, I'm going to just put on some mascara. Um, I actually just got this, but I usually get the regular telescopic, the L'Oreal telescopic version, but this is their new carbon black, and so I thought I would try it. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and put this on. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> the last part of makeup that I'm gonna do is lips. I don't usually put on lipstick, I usually just put on chapstick and call it a day. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna put on some lipstick that I have. The first thing I'm gonna use is this ColourPop lippy pencil. It's this really pretty, like, mauve color, and I'm just gonna line my lips a little bit with that. Okay, that lip pencil is so pretty. And then I'm gonna put the Kylie lipstick in the shade, Kylie, over that. Okay, that is all for this video. I hope everyone liked it. Obviously give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more. It's the summer now, so I have a lot of free time. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.